Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, today is your favorite video. We're gonna be testing out some new drugstore slash affordable releases. Um, we have a lot of first impressions, so I'm super excited about it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, this are the videos where I try out a bunch of new drugstore makeup, makeup that is new to me. And then I also just put in newer products that I've already talked about just to keep it all fairly new. And then I will say, if I if it looks like I have a glob of lip balm on my lips, it's because I do. Um, you guys know my lips have just been so dry and I went to go float the river in this heat wave. Uh, my lips got like super burnt and they hurt. So let's just get straight into it. So I don't have a new uh, foundation, but recently I feel like this one has been going viral. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour vitamin C skin tint. I did review this uh, a while ago, but now it's becoming popular of course, but I do have an applicator that I wanna try out. So it works out because I already know that I do like this product. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. I still have it in the packaging. Um, I did buy this with my own money. This is the brand new Real Techniques Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff. One side is for powder, one side is for liquid. On the back, it does kind of say how to use it, and it does say best used when dry, so I didn't get it wet. This is actually pretty heavy and dense. This is heavy, like, like, dense. So again, this is the powder side, so I think you can also just yeah, you can just move that and put your fingers through and do the powder. It's kind of hard though, I'm not gonna lie. And then the other side is kind of like a sponge and we're gonna be using this. It's a little dark, but it's the shade 312. This is really nice. Um, to be honest, it's almost like a, um, almost like a foundation. It has like medium coverage and more of like a satin finish. I feel like if you are looking for a skin tint and you want some like vitamin C benefits in it and you have more like oily skin or normal or dry if you just don't care if it's like dewy, I think you guys would really like this. Um, keep in mind we're matching the neck. I hope that this isn't cheating, but I always do this with like any any foundation and to be honest, I kinda need to like take some off because I think I put on way, way too much. I'm literally just taking it off and wiping it off. I look like the peanut butter baby right now. We're going to press right? Because that's what you would do with a sponge. Again, I'm kind of confused as to why the sponge side is like kind of hard. Like it's not hard to the touch, but it's very dense and very thin. I definitely think they should have made it a little bit thicker and squishier. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like it, I'm hitting my face with this. Um, so I don't enjoy that. Did I just like swipe? Because I know some people use like the the powder puffs and they like swipe almost. It's keeping that coverage, it's not the fastest thing to blend your foundation and it's also not the most comfortable. It looks fine though, it's not streaky or anything like that. But like, will I ever like use this willingly to do that again? Probably not, um, but it looks fine. And see how, I know it's a little dark, but see how it's matching the neck a little bit more? Um, yeah, so not my favorite. So we will come back to this and use the powder side to set the face. But this is what the skin tint looks like. It's a really nice skin tint, like I said, medium coverage and uh, wears beautifully. Moving on, we have a brand new concealer and lucky for you guys, I have been testing it out because I couldn't help myself. Um, Koki Cosmetics came out with concealer. They already had a concealer, but I believe this is gonna be like the full coverage concealer of the line. I do have two different shades. They sent me a bunch of shades, but this is what it looks like. It's called the Koki Double Time Full Cover Concealer Smoothing and Long Wearing. So I've been using the shade Medium Beige and Medium Honey, I think because the foundation is a little bit on the darker side. I'll use a little bit of the darker shade, which is medium beige. And you know, like I said, I've been trying it out. This is probably like the fifth time that I've worn it and it's really nice. I love a full coverage concealer and I just love when like, especially when the drugstore or like an affordable place comes out with a new high end concealer or not high end, high coverage, high coverage. Um, because I just love high coverage concealer. How many times can I say that? High coverage concealer. Let's give herself a little face lift. Why not? I just realized that I'm showing you guys a new concealer and I'm going to blend it out with this thing, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and try it. So I'm going to use the other side now and uh, I'm just going to tap 
Anyways, just know that I actually have been really, really liking this concealer. Unfortunately, Koki Cosmetics, I don't ever find them in stores, but you can definitely shop um, their website as well as on Amazon. So if you are interested, they do have so many amazing products. I'm not enjoying this at all. I'm going to do one side with a sponge or one side with this and then maybe the other side with a sponge because I want to show you guys how nice this concealer is. And this is just not giving. See how amazing that concealer is? Um, I guess I'll do the other side with this and then we'll blend the rest out with a sponge. It looks really nice throughout the day. It's not drying. I am like so impressed. I've been literally waiting to show you guys this concealer for days because I've been wearing it since last week and this is just the first time that I've been filming. I feel like I'm talking your ear off. Do I need to like shut up for a second? Let me just blend all this real quick. Okay, I did just notice one thing while filming. I didn't realize this before, but it does kind of dry quickly. So don't, you know, blabber like me while you have that concealer on and definitely go ahead and blend. I didn't notice that before. This is the first time that I've noticed, but obviously like I take longer to do my makeup when I'm filming. And doesn't that just look so snatched? Um, I am super impressed. If you like Koki Cosmetics, I do have a coupon code. It is affiliate. You don't have to use it. If you want to use it, go right ahead. It's right here. But um, you guys know I've been a Koki girl for a long time. I'm a Koki girl. It's Koki, not Koki. I'm a little Koki and I like Koki. They just have really, really great products. And this concealer, I think, is by far my new favorite from them. So Koki Cosmetics, you're doing amazing, sweetie. I don't have a new powder but the last video um i was telling you guys about how much i just love the number seven lift and illuminate powder and unfortunately they did go ahead and reformulate this this is why we can't have nice things and this is a new packaging which is like <laughs> this was ah this was luxurious this is okay this is not giving luxury i have been testing this out actually so in the other one i had the shade light medium and it's a little dark for under my eyes, so I never use it for under the eyes. And then this one, I do have the shade light, and I can use it under the eyes. You guys can see the difference. I do really like this powder, by the way. The only thing that I have noticed is that it's just not as velvety, and it's also not as um, blurring. What I love about the original one, it's it's the most blurring, most like doll-like effect that I've ever seen from a powder that is not drying, which is like amazing, right? I do have normal to dry skin, and so I just don't love using super drying powders all the time, but I do like blurring. This is just not as blurring, not as velveting. <laughs> velveting? Uh, that's a new verb for us. Not as velvety, but it's still a nice powder. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I just said it and it's like I am gonna give myself a black eye doing this. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't agree with this. It sets the face beautifully. It mattifies. It doesn't dry your skin out. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I mean, if you really, really want to know, like, the tea, this is better. It's better. I don't know why they changed it. This is nice. So I still like it. So now I just have to move on and just enjoy this powder. Mm, I just forgot that we had a cream blush. Why don't we put on some bronzer and then we'll spread the face, make it nice and wet, and then we'll go in with the cream blush because I really wanted to use it. For uh, bronzer, this one I did talk about in my full face of LA Girl. This is a new matte bronzer from them. I already talked about it, but I just figured why not put it in this video. This is called the Matte Bronzer in the shade Lost in Paradise. This is stunning. They are so silky, so buttery, so beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's like a limited edition thing. So um, if you do want it, go ahead and get it. I'm going to go in with the lightest hand because again, it's just like way too dark for me. Ah! But it definitely blends out nicely and it's very pigmented and it's like very big. So it's just it's just gonna last you forever and it kind of reminds me of the Marc Jacobs Mega Bronzer. I never actually tried that one because they never made a shade darker like that will work for me. Um, but it just reminds me of like that big pan, right? And like the formula is really nice. But again, don't go comparing the formulas because I have no idea. But see how beautiful this is? Just so nice, especially if you just want like a big bronzer, even for like the body. It's just such a big bronzer and it's so affordable but the formula just feels so freaking luxe. I love it and it smells good too. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if we're making like the biggest mistake in this video, but 
I recently also tried the LA Girl Cream Blush, Soft Matte Cream Blush, and I was shooketh, and I bought another shade because it was just so pretty. This is in the shade Grace. This is like very pigmented, very, very pigmented, creamy, nice. Um, might be one of the best like newer cream blushes at the drugstore, so I really wanted to put it in this video. Because I'm scared, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. Hello, hi the Milk Hydra Grip because this will add so much hydration to the face and hopefully our base won't get messed up. So let me do that real quick. I should probably be careful with my microphone. You okay, Bubba? Again, this is the shade called Grace and when I tell you that it's pigmented, it's very pigmented. It comes in a squeezy tube and that's probably all you need. And now we're going to stipple instead of rub. Oh. My freaking gosh, I am so glad we did this. Look at this. So these are the soft matte cream blushes. So I like it because sometimes like super dewy blushes just don't work, especially with powder. But also, I don't know, they just add like, they just show the texture on your face. And this is nice because it's not like matte matte to where it looks flat. Like it's a soft matte, so it still has life to the skin. You guys, I'm barely using any product. I really haven't seen anybody talking about these blushes. Um, I'm kind of confused about that. I might need to make like an Instagram reel about this because this needs to be like a public service announcement. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. So that is what that looks like. I'm obsessed. I thought the shade might be too light for me, but it actually blends out so beautifully. I'm drinking water. I'm trying to hydrate. Ah. Hopefully that helps my lips. So we do have an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, a liquid eyeshadow, a mascara. We have a lot of things to get through. So first, let's use this palette. This is the reason why I wore this shirt. I was trying to make sure that we looked normal. So this is brand new from Haley's Beauty. They, this is actually their first eyeshadow palette. I have tried it once, but off camera, so I'm excited to show it to you guys now. It's called the Replay the Everything Eyeshadow Palette. It does have three mattes and one shimmer. This would be like a perfect little everyday palette for someone that is like lighter skin tone and prefers cool tone neutrals. That's, that's is like an oxymoron. Cool toned, more cool toned type of neutral shades. You know what I mean? I do have like a more exciting um, liquid eyeshadow to put on, but I just wanted to show you guys this formula in case you guys are interested. I'm just gonna grab the matte shade and I'm just gonna give myself just a little light base all over the eyes. Haley's Beauty is kind of like Koki Cosmetics. It's an affordable brand, but they're kind of hard to find in stores. I'm pretty sure the last time I ever saw one in store was at Target. Matte brown and start putting it on the crease. We're not gonna do anything like too crazy because I just wanna show you guys this little eyeshadow palette as well as a very fun lid shade. But see, um, it's actually like a really nice pigmentation. It's like a medium pigmentation. It shows up, it looks nice, you can build it up, but you don't have to be afraid of it. How are you guys doing? I miss you guys. I have been hanging out in the New Braunfels Canyon Lake area this past weekend. If you guys are from Texas, let me know. I went to go float the river and uh, I am like very tan. I know you can't tell because I always cover my face, but like my body is like very tan. You would think that I like fake tan. Anyways, um, let me know if you guys are from Texas and let me know if you guys like floating the river. Now I'm gonna grab uh, this shade. Normally I wouldn't use like a gray shade uh, in general, but I'm just gonna use it to deepen out the outer corner and then this is the shimmer shade it does come with like a very silvery shimmer shade I like the the shimmer it's one of those shimmers that it's not like the creamiest feeling but it definitely has a very beautiful glittery shimmery uh, finish so it doesn't feel buttery but it looks really nice so I definitely like this maybe we can use this for our inner corner highlight um, so overall I do think this is really pretty let's go ahead and use um, the liquid eyeshadow so this is from the Wet n Wild Alice in Wonderland collection. I did go ahead and try a bunch of their products in my past video, but um, I didn't have time to use all the products. I figured why not use a couple more if you guys are interested. It is called the Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade They Dreaming. Should I tell you guys a little dirty little secret? I've never seen this movie. And, the, and then I've only seen the live action 
but like not really because um, I remember I was at the movies and I had to go to the bathroom and let me just set the scene for you guys. I had a Blackberry. That was my phone, a Blackberry. And I remember, um, I dropped my Blackberry in the toilet and, uh, that like ruined my day. It ruined my year. So then I didn't have a phone after that. And so then I just didn't even pay attention to the movie. Anyway, so sorry for that storyline, but wow. That looks really, really pretty. Why do I feel like some of you guys would like use this as a blush? I see some of you guys doing stuff like this. So let me just apply it straight on the lid and then maybe we can blend it out. This would be perfect to put on for the Barbie movie. I'm not loving that right now. I think that it's just not blending out very well, but maybe it's because of the brush. So let me kind of do my finger instead and pat it in. And because it was a little patchy under, now it's a little patchy in general. So now let's try again with my finger only on the other side because it's like a really pretty shade. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap and I'm gonna work quickly because again, it dries very fast. It's really hard to blend because it dries so quickly and like even though I've been blending with my finger on this side, I can still tell like any edge that I didn't blend right away and now it's like I can't blend it. Um, so I'm not loving this and to be honest, oh my god, it's literally, it's dry, like it feels like paper. And then once it's dry, it's not like as shimmery as it looks. Like it looks prettier swatched but blended out, which you have to do, it just doesn't look as pretty. So let's try one more thing. Maybe this is one of the things that like you just put on and you don't blend. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just like messing everything up, but I'm just gonna like cut my crease. The worst, but it's not good. So just keep your expectations where they should be. Um, this eye looks a lot prettier because there was a lot less blending. So just know that if you really, really wanna get this, then just know that you can't really blend it. So like, if you can just like add it on and leave it, that might be the best scenario this is brand new and it is la girl as well but i actually haven't tried it i just ordered it it is called the artist brush pen eyeliner intensely pigmented i'm very curious to try this because i just tried their other uh liquid eyeliner that wasn't new and i didn't like it so hopefully i do like this one i also have new um i think they're new eyeliners from essence they just sent me all of these in pr and it says that they're the new Stay Play Gel Liner Waterproof Long Lasting. Let's try out maybe uh, the black and maybe the nude. And then um, we'll save these fun colors for another time just because we do have so much going on. That's a little swatchy swatchy. Ooh, that's extremely pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the waterline because I'm trying to make sure that the eyeshadow is like very, very dry before we go in with a liquid. That um, glides on. As you guys can see, I am not even holding up my eyelid. Let's try this out. I want to do a thinner eyeliner because we also have a new mascara to try out, but we need to see what is going on with this. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Look at the packaging. Okay, it thin to thick lines with the, lar with the large calligraphy tip. It's just a brush. And long wearing liquid formula. Okay, by the way, this eyeshadow feels so dry on my eyelids right now. It feels like I just got Botox. I'm gonna speed this part up because it's really hard for me to like talk while I do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'm gonna try to do a thinner wing liner, but we'll see with where this journey takes us. That was very easy to use. So far, I like it way better than the other one. I think the other one's called like the Jet Setter. It went over that pink eyeshadow as well as it could. This eyeshadow is horrible, don't buy it. Um, and it's very black and it's drying down matte. So, so far I'm actually really enjoying this. So just know that out of the two that they have, the, the brush tip liquid ones, this is way better. The only reason why this eye looks wonky is because of that eyeshadow. But once I got off of that crazy, by the way, I'm not talking about the Haley's Beauty one. I'm talking about the um, Wet n Wild one. Once I got past that, it's very easy to use. It glides on, it's pigmented, I like it. So I definitely give this a thumbs up. And the coolest part about this is that it's only a couple bucks. That eyeliner has not gone down to my bottom waterline. What? This is awesome. So I think it's safe to say that uh, we can put on the cream one. So this is in the shade Silky Nude. Again, I thought that they already had these, so maybe they reformulated or just added new shades. But either way, um, these are working so great. This is like perfect. So far, 
freaking loving these. I'll keep you guys updated on these. And let's quickly move on to mascara. So I saw this on the new section at Ulta. And I decided to purchase this. This is the Tres Luce uh, Mascara. So this is, uh, Tres Luce Beauty is uh, Becky G's makeup line. So uh, this is actually my first time trying anything from her line. And it just looked promising. So, oh, whoa. Okay, a lot skinnier than I thought. So this is what the wand looks like. And it is definitely a silicone wand. It's very, like, plasticky. Not very soft silicone. Let's read the claims real quick. Prime and condition your lashes while adding volume and length. This is a long-lasting, buildable formula infused with mame sapote, oh, okay, seed oil, and uh, the one's twin vortex allows for even application each time. When was the last time you heard the word vortex? Probably like during like Stranger Things or something. Let me quickly just curl my lashes like I always do with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. You know the drill. We're gonna do one coat on each eye so we can see how it looks and then we'll do the second coat. And again, keep in mind, I do use an eyelash serum so my lashes are pretty good but I will always tell you if a mascara is actually working magic or not. All right, so that is the first coat. I have to say right off the bat, it is extremely lengthening. Um, even though I do have the eyeliner, you can still see like my lashes. The formula is very wet, so um, hopefully this is one of those that just get better with time because sometimes when formulas are too wet, it just it gets hard to like get volume without clumpiness. And then um, very separating, not a lot of volume, but as far as length goes, I definitely give it to to her. So now we're gonna go ahead and do another coat. I'm pretty generous with my coat, so I'm gonna try to build it up as much as I can while keeping it separated and hopefully not super spidery. I think I jinxed myself by saying spider because it's giving spider. Oof, that looks really bad. So the the formula is so wet, and I think that the, the spikes are a little bit too um, separated to actually separate the lashes nicely because it's just clumping together. Uh, this is just not nice as a second coater. I think that if you want to try this out, the way I would use it, because now I own it, is I would uh, use it only as a one coater and then maybe use a volumizing mascara on top because it really did give me a lot of length, um, but no volume. And any volume that I do have is because it looks like a spider leg. I'm looking like a doll, which is nice, but like not my usual go-to. It's just not my vibe. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Becky G. I will keep trying your brand because I definitely see that you have some good products. I'm gonna go back to this um, Haley's Beauty palette. I went ahead and wet the brush and now I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. It'll actually go perfectly with the um, the little eyeshadow. Alrighty guys. Okay, we have come to the end of the video. The last thing we're going to try out today is this lip product. So ColourPop actually reformulated their ultra blotted lips. Um, I used to like these, but I think they were a little drying. It's supposed to just be like a soft matte velvety look. You guys know my lips are pretty dry, so keep that in mind. But I decided to buy the shade Kitten, again, from the Ulta website. So I'm going to take off my lip balm, do a little bit of lip liner, and I'll be right back. You guys know I have been obsessed with the LA Girl shockwave lip liners this is in the shade coquette and now let's go ahead and apply this usually with ultra or just blotted lips in general like lip blushes i like to like literally blot it so that's what we're gonna do because um it just looks very messy i'm not very impressed with just the way this comes out but let's try it on so maybe we'll apply this much and blot it actually really pretty again very very goopy like every time you go in and out I think they just didn't put a good stopper in there because this is like very messy I'm surprised that they didn't because if this is like a reformulation you would think they would like make sure it comes out even better than before like this is literally Barbie makeup not on purpose um this looks nice it definitely is giving the effect of the blotted lips which I love keep in mind it's just not gonna be hydrating at all but it is very thin so I do like that and I do think that these products are just best applied literally blotted that it actually looks really really pretty but the thing about some of these ColourPop lip products are pretty drying uh, so keep that in mind but but the shade is very pretty and I think it definitely did what it needed to do and you know what just for fun why don't we top it off with this because this is new as well and like why not we're already living the pink fantasy this is the hard candy glossotopia lip repair lip oil in the shade deep desire because i have the deep desire of some hydration 
a lot of you guys ask me if they taste bad. I mean, I don't really taste anything. And I usually hate things that taste bad, like, um, like other lip products. I don't taste anything. I just think that these have a very strong scent, but... I personally don't taste them, and they're super nice. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. This is the final look. My favorite products that I tried out today are definitely the Koki Cosmetics um, concealers. Those eyeliners from Essence are working exactly with what I wanted. We love that. That blush is amazing. Really, everything worked out except the mascara and this eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow, just not my favorite. But other than that, I think this was a pretty successful video. Some hits, some misses. That's life. C'est la vie. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything for you guys as always down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so freaking much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.